This growth group is going to kindergarten in the next few weeks. We hope we've given them a strong foundation and we feel confident that we've given them a great start to life. They have learned many priceless lessons. So children, I'm talking to you guys, take on challenges, be loving, love learning, be part of your community, laugh, and be all that you can be. Okay? Okay. So can I tell you how proud we are of this group? Um, this is an amazing group of kiddos. They love to learn. They're smart. They're very determined. They also um, love to talk. It is a chatty group. If I go on this room, I need 10 minutes. Because we will talk so long, won't we, friends? And we would say that they're going to take the world by storm. That's our prediction for this group. Today, we're here to celebrate your child's life and times at Heartland Hooks. It's hard to believe your babies have grown into these big boys and girls, ready to start elementary years and move on to kindergarten. Some of them have been with us since they were babies and toddlers, so we've watched them grow up. We've prepared them for the academics of kindergarten, but we've also tried to prepare them for what else may come in school and in life. Our teachers have worked with them to be kind, to share their feelings, and to be independent to handle situations, make friends, and have a love of learning and exploring. We celebrate our teachers today, Ms. Jackie and Ms. Hannah, who have worked with the children over the last year, and now watch the children move on to bigger things. Not better, just bigger. <laughs> teachers, thank you for your dedication to the children and families. Your commitment to each and every one of these children's shows. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> with your most precious gift, your child. Our teachers have been working with them to build a foundation that will carry with them to kindergarten. I'm a mother of a 23 year old, so I say this with experience. I have my favorite picture still of my child is her walk, like the back of her walking into kindergarten. Um, it just was such a special emotional time for me as a mom and for her as a child. Um, I felt like I was letting her go with all her hopes and dreams of making friends, love learning, um, and becoming independent. So my advice, take your pictures on your first day, don't forget that, and pat yourself on the back. I remember taking the day off. I'm like, I'm going to celebrate this day too. I got my child to this place and that is success. That's exciting. So be proud of yourself too, that you've raised them to this point, that you've given them morals and values and now it's time to let them take the wheel and trust them to do it a little bit. So this is a milestone for you too, and it was an honor to be part of all their journeys. Ms. Jackie, Ms. Hannah, would you like to say anything? Okay. Hello. It has been a great joy to um, watch and to observe all these children, to laugh, learn, to explore and to make friends and to get ready for their next journey. I wish you all the best of luck. Hello. I just wanted to say to you friends that we're gonna miss you so much. You're gonna do such big things and we're so proud of you.
And then we'll do our certificates. No way, I'm doing it the wrong order. I'm doing certificates. I'm going to do certificates. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So each kiddo is going to have their name called. And Ms. Lauren's going to talk about the questions that you answered when you were in class. Remember, we'll come shake Ms. Valerie's hand and get your paper. And then we'll sit back down, okay? So our first graduate is Miss Hayden Gordon. Come on, Hayden. Hayden wants to be a babysitter when she grows up, and her favorite part of K prep was playing with babies and dramatic play. Good job, Hayden. And our next graduate is Miss Paisley Griffin. When Paisley grows up, she wants to be a teacher, and her favorite thing about K prep was the animal hospital and dramatic play. We have Rowan Hazelip. Rowan wants to be a pediatrician or a veterinarian when she grows up. And her favorite thing about K Prep was going outside and making friends. Okay. Next, we have Miss Valen Lugowski. When Valen grows up, she wants to be a chef. And her favorite thing about K Prep is drawing pictures of bunnies and arts. Good job, Valen. And Miss Cece Meza. Cece wants to be a ballerina. Cece wants to be a ballerina when she grows up. And her favorite thing about K Prep is all the fun activities like drawing mermaids. And then we have Elise Routini. When Elise grows up, she wants to be a nurse like her mommy. And her favorite thing about K Prep are her teachers and Miss Jackie. Noah Palmon. When Noah grows up, he wants to be a soccer player, and his favorite thing about K Prep was making new friends. Yeah. And then we have Ben Russell. Come on up, Ben. Ben wants to be a teacher when he grows up, and his favorite thing about K Prep is building with cups. And then we have Logan Trentum. When Logan grows up, he wants to be a superhero and a teacher. Yes. And his favorite thing about K Prep is playing in the sand table and drawing pictures for mommy and daddy. Yeah. And last but not least, we have Miss Emily Watkins. When Emily grows up, she wants to be a police officer. And her favorite thing about K Prep is playing in the sand table and playing with her friends. Good job, Emily. A big round of applause for all of our 2024 graduates. And right now, Miss Valerie is going to read a special poem for you all, okay? It's from Oh, the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. And then we will have cupcakes, because that's what we've talked about a lot today. <laughs> Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the guy who'll decide where to go. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 fourths percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. So, thank you guys for joining us. One parent would come up and get your children, rather than everybody getting up at the same time. Might be a little more organized. And then we have refreshments over here. Good job, guys. Thank you. Pretty flowers, you got.
Yeah. yeah.